I'm Vicky welcome back to my channel or thank you for joining me if it's your first time here this is rocked up frocks where I take vintage and pre-love clothing and give it a makeover today I'm going to show you how to make this little simple pouch bag and to make it I'm using an old pair of jeans that were given to me by a friend because she didn't wear them anymore and I'm also going to use some off cuts from some recent rocked up frocks so I've got the rest of the lace from my ombre dye tutorial and that little purple dress that I rocked up and I've also got the satin that was left over after I took the satin pleating off the bodice of the little dress that I rocked up so I'm going to use that to line my bag with as well as whatever fabric you want to use you're also going to need a little magnetic bag fastener and a zip if you want to put a pocket into your little pouch bag to make your pattern work out what size pouch that you'd like to make this is going to be dependent on the size of fabric that you've got to some extent I've decided that I want my pouch to be 20 centimeters across the bottom and 30 centimeters up the front and when it folds over that's going to be what it looks like I've then added a one centimeter seam allowance all the way around this is going to be the back of your bag and the front and back of your lining I've also marked where my fastener is going to go. If you don't want to put a zip pocket in the front of your bag, this will be your outside front as well. If you do want to put a zip pocket in the front, you will need to work out where you want your zip to go. So I've sort of held my folder over. I want the zip to be hidden under here. So I've worked out I want my zip to be roughly here. So I've now cut a top and a bottom for the outside front of my bag with the cut where the zip's going to sit and added an extra centimetre seam allowance on each of those sides. So when they go together with that extra seam allowance overlapped, my zip will sit about here. For the pocket to go inside the little zip pocket on the front, I've taken my outside front bottom piece, cut a piece of pattern that's the same width, and when folded in half up to that seam allowance the fold just stops short of the bottom of this piece so this is how your pocket will sit inside the bag you'll also need your strap I've cut this to eight centimeters wide with a one centimeter seam allowance either side which when folded in will give me a strap that's about three centimeters wide and you'll need to cut this to the finish length that you want your strap to be so measure over your shoulder however you like to hold your bag and work out what your finish length of strap is going to be once you've got your pattern pieces, go ahead and cut them out. So I'm going to cut one each of these in the denim, one of these in the lining, and one of these in denim and two in lining. And then the strap will just be cut in denim. I've just noticed that these jeans have got this really nice detail up the sides of the leg. So I'm going to use that to make my bag strap. I think that's really awesome. So I'm going to cut them open down the inside seam and lay them flat and then yeah I think that'd be a beautiful strap very cool yeah it's awesome when you when you're working with pre-loved clothes you can find the different details on them and take them and use them on something new on whatever you're creating I've cut the jeans open I press the legs and now because I'm going to use these side seams to make the strap because of that stitching so awesome I'm going to cut it's about three centimeters wide I'm going to cut them out with three centimeters either side so I've got something to fold to the back and finish off neatly to make the inside of the strap look good too but I can use where it's turned up at the bottom of the leg I'm going to use that as the bit so onto the outside of the bag because my ends already finished nicely so I'm going to go ahead and cut out both sides and then cut out all my other fabric Everything's cut out, I've got my bag back, the bottom and the top of the front, and the two bits of lining fabric pinned together to make the lining for the bag. And I've added some interfacing at the tops all the way across and either side of where the zip's gonna go because this denim is a tiny bit stretchy. And I've added it at the top of the lining as well. And I've added a second layer where the clasp's gonna go through. As well as these, I now have my pocket for the front which I ended up having to put a seam in it because I didn't have a piece of fabric big enough. I've cut a pocket off the jeans which we're going to use on the back of the bag 
I've cut a belt loop that I might attach somewhere or somewhere to hang keys or a little keychain off. I've got two bits of denim that I've folded and pressed in half that are going to go either end of the zip and I've got the strap ready for later. The next thing I'm going to do is tack on my lace fabric. So I want the ombre part of the lace on the front of the bag. So I'm going to tack that onto the bottom and the top parts. I'm going to line it up so that nice big rose is the centre bottom at the front because that's going to look really pretty. So I'm going to pin it in place and then tack all the way around and cut it down to the same size as the denim. Now I can see the lace over the denim properly, I've decided that the pocket I was going to put on the back, the stitching's just too brown to go with everything. And the same with the strip from the side of the jeans that we cut out for the strap. So I'm going to save these for something else because there's lots of denim left. So I'll use these on a different bag. And I'm going to find something else to make the strap out of and just leave that pocket off. So now it's time to put the zip and the pocket in the front of the bag. So this is the lower front of the front of the bag. So the first thing to do to put the zip and the pocket in is to take the two little bits of denim that we'd pressed in half. I've actually just laid some lace over them to help them match. And I'm gonna put them and pin them at either end of the top of the lower front bag part. It doesn't really matter what size these are. You want them coming in maybe a centimeter or so past your centimeter seam allowance. Next, I'm going to take the zip and just stitch these two ends together. Um, if you can buy a zip that's the right length, that's better. I didn't have one, so I'm actually going to cut this zip off to the right length. So first of all, I'm going to just join these ends with a couple of stitches. Then I'm going to put some stitches here and then cut this. Make sure it's going to be hidden under this, so about there. And then I'm going to cut the zip off about a centimetre below that. Once the zip's the right length and your ends are together, take your zip and lay it right sides together. And then I tack it in place to make sure it doesn't move as we stitch it in. Once that's tacked in place, take the fabric you've cut for your pocket and place that right sides together lining up with the edge of the zip and the edge of the bag. So you've got all three layers pinned together and tacked together like that. So next, using a zipper foot, stitch one centimetre in from the edge all the way along here. Once it's stitched, it will look like this. You can see that pocket then goes to the inside like that and then these little bits flap up and they form the little ends of the zip so next I'm going to press that open and then we'll add the top half once it's pressed take your pocket and fold it in half and this time pin it along the back of the top edge of the zip I'm now going to tack all the way around there Once that's tacked, take the top part of your outside bag and put it right sides together, lined up with the edges and the top of the zip. Then I'm going to stitch one centimetre in using my zipper foot again. I've stitched one centimetre in with my zipper foot exactly as we did for the first half of the zip and I've pressed it open. And this is how our front pocket looks. We've got a neat zip opening into our little purple satin pocket. So next it's time to join the fronts and backs together. So I'm going to take my front and my back. Oops, a little bit longer, that doesn't matter. And line the tops up and I'll lose a bit of extra there. It's stretched because this denim's got a bit of stretch to it. So that's our outsides pinned together and our lining pinned together and with the lining we're going to leave an opening at the bottom so I'm going to stop stitching about there and there so we've got somewhere to, to 
turn it all through when we put it together. So I'm going to stitch my one centimetre seam allowance down here, stop and leave an opening, round here, and stitch my one centimetre seam allowance around all three edges of the outside. Next we're going to box the corners, so the bottom two corners of the the bottom two corners of the lining and the outside fabric. So what, is, what I do is I grab the fabric from each side, make sure the seam allowance is going the same way, and then I just pop a pin through to see if my seams are lined up. If they are, put a pin right along there. So it looks like that and then I'm going to stitch in about two centimeters from the end and stitch straight across there and this just gives the bag a little bit of shape at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and do that for all four of the bottom corners. This is how our corners look after they're stitched. I'm just going to trim that excess off. If I turn this lining through, you can see how those corners then form a bit of a base to the bag rather than it being completely flat. Next, I'm going to add my magnetic clasp to the lining. So I'm going to take my pattern and mark where I put my fastener. And then I pop a pin through to make sure they're lined up perfectly. That's the center on each side. So I'm gonna mark either side where I'm gonna make the hole for these little prongs to go through. So using an awl, I'm gonna make two holes and push the clasp through from the right side. Put the backing disc over it and then just use my pliers to push them firmly down. That's one half. Now I'm going to do the other half. Exactly the same. And that's our clasp in on the inside of the lining. I'm going to rethink my strap for this. So originally I was going to use the bits from the side of the legs that we cut off, but yeah, the colour's just wrong now. So I think what I'm going to do instead of doing a long strap is just do a little wrist strap. So I'm going to cut it from the same denim and put some of the lace over it so it matches the rest of the bag. I think I want my strap to be about 12 inches finished then that can go over your wrist and then you can just clutch the top of the bag. So I've cut a piece of denim and tacked some lace onto it. It was 13 inches by 2 inches and now I've turned in the edges all the way around. And the next thing I'm going to do is fold it in half and then top stitch around all four sides. When you're working with denim, it does get pretty chunky. So if your machine can't handle this many layers, you can make your strap out of something a little bit thinner. Next, I'm gonna fold the strap in half and stitch one end just above the other. So we're not trying to stitch through both layers at the end when we join it onto the bag. This is my finished strap. Then I've only got a single layer to sew through to put it onto the bag rather than having the ends even then you've got a double layer to go through and it can end up really fat. With my bag right side out I'm going to mark where it folds and stitch this on just below that. So when the bag is folded the strap just sits up like that from one side. That's my little wrist strap sewn on just below where the top of the bag folds over. To join the bag together, I've got the outside the right way out and the lining inside out. And I'm gonna pop this inside the lining. So I'm gonna pin the tops together and then stitch one centimeter from the edge all the way around the top. So I've stitched around the top and now we need to turn it in the right way by pulling the outside through the hole that we left in the bottom of the lining. I'm going to press this seam open and then to finish it off, I fold the seam allowance in across the bottom of the lining. 
and then machine stitch across there, just the top stitch. That's stitched up, I've pressed there, so now we need to turn the lining to the inside. And that will create our little lined pouch. And then I'm gonna give it another press just to make sure the, this sits really neatly, or you can top stitch around there as well. I think it needs a bow on here, so I'm gonna make a really quick bow from the lace and the denim. I'll link my bow making tutorial above and in the description so you can see the method that I use to make this. And then I will be back to show you the finished bag. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can really make this pattern any size that you want. You can use any fabric that you want. You can put any type of embellishment on it as well. You could add patches here. You could add old necklaces around it. There's so many things you can do with this basic pattern. And the instructions for adding the zip and the pocket here you can use on any bag as well that you want to. It's easy to add a pattern piece that divides the section to put the zip and the pocket into. So have fun, use these skills and take them and make them your own and come up with something fabulous. Please subscribe to my channel if you like my video and you're not subscribed already. Please leave me a comment. Let me know if you'd like to see more bag tutorials. I love making bags. So I'd be happy to do some more bag tutorials for you and I will be back soon with more videos.